Today we're doing the Suntour AR derailleur. This, this video is going to be just for the AR. I have a separate video for the ARX, so if you do have one, you can go ahead and hop your way and over to the other video. Some tools you're going to need, Allen keys, 9mm ratchet or wrench, pliers, and a screwdriver. You see I can't get to this bolt right here, so we're going to take out this pin for the cage so we can service the B-spring. Pull the cage back like this and unscrew it. Springs back. So I still can't get to it, so let's unscrew the spring compartment, whatever you call it. Make sure to push down, don't strip the bolt. And so this might move with it. I don't know why it's doing it right here, but gonna move with it that's fine so then once it's done just pull it off there you go yeah so if you do have a nine mil wrench just take off the pulley first and then take off the spring but i don't have one so i just did that works fine there's also a barrel adjuster up here you can take it out as well There's also this thing that goes with it. And finally, let's take apart the P bolt. Just get this. You can put a Allen bolt on the other side, or you can just go like this and unscrew it. All right, now everything's all nice and taken apart. Now it's time to clean. This derail has already been cleaned down before, so I'm not gonna be doing much to it. But there's a lot of steel, so you wanna make sure you protect it. If you have any rust, you want to use some aluminum foil and some water. If there's heavy rust on the bolts, you can use some vinegar or some rust dissolvent to, uh, to get that out of there. You can also use a steel or brass brush. And for other cleaning, you can use acetone, brake cleaner, or alcohol. I usually use an ultrasonic cleaner. And for the chrome stuff, I'm going to be using this stuff called Quick Glow. And this part of the cage, also the P-knuckle right here. Is aluminum. Some of my favorite waxes are Mother's and Autosol. And now everything's all nice and cleaned down, ready to go. Now time for assembly. Another thing you're gonna need is grease. All right, and just for this derailleur, I think it's gonna be best if we put the pulleys on first, so let's go. And for the pulleys, I like to use a lighter grease like the SRAM butter stuff. You wanna get just a little bit, you wanna put it on the inside of here. Then you wanna grab your bushing. And you want to grease it up on the inside of that as well. Remember, you don't need too much grease. You want just a little bit on there. Then you want to grab your metal seals. Remember, don't put too much on the metal seals as well. And slide it in. When you put on your bolt, you want to put on a little bit of grease on there as well. And same thing for the other pulley. Just make sure you put the other cage on right. Should look exactly like this. And now for the parallelogram, you wanna grease up the shaft, you wanna grease up the inside, the outside, then you wanna grab your spring. And you see these three holes, the left one is the tighter one, right one is the looser one, I'm gonna go with the middle one. That's best option in my opinion, this derailleur is not very high performing, should be good. And I would just put some grease on the outside so it won't roast. Now then grab your plastic cover, whatever it's called, put some grease on the shaft. And you want to line up this little notch on the end with this little notch right here and stick it on. Just like that. And before you do that, you want to grab, there's going to be a big washer. And there's going to be one of the smaller washers on top of that. And then go ahead and screw it on. This is kind of what it should look like. You see they have the big washer and you have the little washer on top. And the easiest way I found to do it, you want to make sure this plastic thing stays here. So the little pin won't pop out of the out of the slot. And just grab your cage and screw it on like this. There you go. And then you want to tighten down the screw, not too tight, just until it stops. You want to make sure your cage has tension like this so it springs back. And then you want to get it, rotate it counterclockwise until the little pin spot passes this little bar and screw in your pin. And 
and that. Now you want to grab your bolt. You want to grease it up. I use some light grease, just some saran butter. Then you want to get your two little thin washers. Slide those on. Now you want to put some grease on the inside of here, just a little bit. Then you want to grab, put some grease on the outside of the washers. Slide it in. And then slide on your little retaining pin thing. And again, that does not have to be super tight. You just make it tight enough so the bolt doesn't wobble around. Now you want to put in your bail adjuster and don't forget the little metal insert that goes in there. And for the clamp bolt, you want to make sure you have your little wedge in there. You want to make sure it's facing out just like this right here. Because when you put in the cable, it's going to go in between those two little jaws. There's this in between there and the part of the derailleur. So this is how it should look like. And then tighten down your pulleys. Make sure this is all nice and smooth. Make sure it springs back. No rubbing, no weird sounds. No rough rubbing, no weird sounds. And then you have yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. There you go. Overall, this is a pretty simple and reliable derailleur. The only flaw I can think of is the little plastic cover, which could crack. I haven't seen any personally, but I'm sure they crack all the time. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but this derailleur I already rebuilt beforehand, so that's why it's so clean. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for more Suntour stuff. And thanks to everyone who subbed. Bye.